Zadun. Did did you see Zadun? The Bonnie I, Dunes? I have seen it twice now. Is that good, huh? And I'm very tempted to go a third time. Well, I really I have said this before. I would pay cash money to watch Zendaya read the Apple Terms of Service. <laughs> Zendaya, really? Like I I don't know if you've watched Euphoria. I have not. The girl, she's so good. And like the Spider-Man movies give you a little bit of it. Like she is really talented. I I, I know um, that. I, I, like, I'm not down. She's talented. It's just the, the, the content of Euphoria. I, I read some of the synopsis and I'm like, not for me. It is an extremely stressful show. That show will stress you. Like they should call it. These kids are in danger. Like just the the basic premise of it is I'm sitting there going, this is questionable. The basic premise is teenagers doing literally everything you beg teenagers not to do. Like I'm like, who are these teenagers? Where did they come from? Like, where are your Where are your parents? Like I know I know every generation is like I didn't do anything like that, but no, quite literally, none of us did anything like that. What the fuck? And like I have teenage nieces and nephews, and I'm like, I hope that this is not what their life is, is like. This what Jesus Christ. Now? Is this is nice? It's changed a bit. But she is so good on that show. Um, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. And I, and weirdly, like when I lived with my sister, my nephew was a big fan of a show called Shake It Out that she was on. It was about like a dance team. <laughs> well, and, things like, have changed. She's a Disney kid. Yes. Things have changed. Um, but yeah, that movie was... I I walked out of Dune Part 2 feeling very much like what it's rumored Robert Rodriguez did at the end of Mad Max Fury Road. Because the rumor is he saw Mad Max Fury Road and as the credits rolled, he stood up in the theater and screamed, how the f*** did you film that? It, it's, it's definitely... One of the problems with these... The first one was okay. But the fact is, it comes off as mediocre because it's half the story, and it's not meant to be broken it's up. It's a lot there. of setup. Yeah, it's all setup. Yeah. It's not meant to be because it it ends with like you know, okay, there's a knife fight, and you can join our gang now. Ta da! The end. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. This one is all payoff. It's like, Whoa. yeah, like it's brilliant. And I, I was amazed how much they crammed into the runtime, and it's two and a half hours. It's not a short movie. But still, I was amazed how much they crammed into that runtime because there's a lot happening. There are walking out takes, and I kind of want to see them. Each week, Catherine, Radio Daddy, our audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for the segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And Tara, we have got yet another Crazy. national security breach. But for the first time ever, it did not come from a video game. Hey, that's that's a start. Well, no. Don't post the sandworm in the chat. Oh, <laughs> I gotta look at the screen. But uh, it it didn't come from a video game. It came from a dating app. This is the dumbest fucking guy. This guy. This is the dumbest fuck. Sixty three years old. Sixty three years the fuck old this fucking guy uh 63 year old u.s air force employee arrested for giving classified intel on ukraine to woman he met on dating site who dubbed him quote sweet dave A civilian member of the united states air force has been indicted for allegedly leaking classified National defense information to a woman he met on a foreign, and I'm going to put woman in air quotes here. He met yeah. on a foreign dating app in 2022. Retired Army Lieutenant Colonel David Franklin Slater, 63, was arrested a on. Colonel? Cur Lieutenant Colonel, but yes. Um, was oh, okay, but still, that's not like some no. fucking asshole. Was arrested on March 2nd and charged with multiple counts of conspiracy to transmit and the transmission of national defense information. Um, according to Department of Justice, Slater worked in a classified space at U.S. Stratcom and held a top secret security clearance from August 21st to April 20, 22nd. 
uh, when he was at during which time he was privy to classified information regarding Ukraine and Russia. Now we have the uh, the indictment, and I'll give you the link. To Wait, the here's my question before yeah. we get into that. Sure. It says a civilian member of the United States Air Force, but then it lists him as a lieutenant colonel. Well, yeah, he's How retired. How are you a civilian retired. with rank? He's retired. Oh, okay. But I obviously probably brought him okay. back to do, you know, consulting. All right, here is the actual indictment. I'll give you that, that link there. And um, if you're wondering, well, maybe she was just really good at, at breaking it. Maybe she's just really, really, really convincing. Um, here's some quotes. Uh, get down to it. Where's on or about March 7th, American intelligence that says that says that already 100% of Russian troops are located on the U territory of Ukraine. Do you think this information could be trusted? On or about March 11th, quote, dear, what is shown on the screens in the special room? It is very interesting. On or about March 15th, by the way, you were the first to tell me that NATO members are traveling by train. And only now, already evening, this was announced on our news. You are my secret informant, love. How are your meetings? Successfully? On or about March 18th. Beloved Dave, do NATO and Biden have a secret plan to help us? This, this, this person fell for this. 63 years old. Lieutenant Colonel, Air Force, retired. Someone in the chat said, I wonder how Dan would react to this. Um, he, he might be rising out of his urn as we speak. <laughs> and reforming just to scream. Dave, it's great that you get information about specified country one. First, I hope you will tell me right away. You are my secret agent with love. Dave, I hope tomorrow NATO will prepare a very unpleasant surprise for Putin. Will you tell me? A lieutenant colonel of 63 years. Is falling for age. this fell for this shit. Yes. Like this isn't even subtle. No. This is like, this is, this is the shit you get. This is darling. I would love to send you nudes. Do you have the nuclear code? <laughs> this is pussy in bio. Send nudes. I, I don't even have any jokes. This is, this is terrifying. Yes. <laughs> and this, this is, I look forward to your comments, but here we go. Okay. Every time some dumb fucking man is like, well, we can't let women rule the world. You're hysterical. <laughs> Y'all only have enough blood to one run head at a time. <laughs> and you always pick the wrong one. Like this is this is complete. This might as well have been chat GPT where all we know it probably was. Like we need, we need to stop letting men make decisions. There's somebody in Russia on the other end who was going, can you believe he's fucking falling for this shit? Fuck me. Look, look. it's fucking Alan coming and golden eye on the other end. I, are we actually getting paid Bottoms. for this? Should we be getting, I don't feel like I'm earning my money. <laughs> oh my God. Let's oh, be fair, is... women get catfished and scammed all the time. Yeah, find me a story about a woman giving away highly classified fucking intel on an active war. And we could talk. And we can talk, yes. Oh, well, let's move along to Deer Creek just to make, not to make it weird, but let's make it weird. This is from Oklahoma. Now, you may be aware in America, Oklahoma has got a lot of um, moral uh, legislation coming out these days about people who ain't like us, them weirdos. And yet, this is the supposed, this is from the supposedly normal people with your kids. Um, holy shit. 
Deer Creek School District responds after video shows students licking toes for fundraiser. The Deer Creek, yeah, uh, a Deer Creek School District released a statement Friday afternoon after a video was sent to Fox 25 that showed students licking toes during an event for the school's wonderful week of fundraising. I swear. <laughs> I swear to St. Zendaya, if this has something to do with Lent. <laughs> the week was spent raising money for Not Your Average Joe Coffee which employs people with intellectual, developmental, and physical disabilities. Uh, I'm all for fun amazing and for really fun and silly things, but that right there seems a little excessive, the parrot said. <laughs> Whatever she told me yesterday was ha happening, I had to ask her, wait, what? They're licking peanut butter off of toes, an anonymous parent said. What? Students in ninth through 12th grades volunteer to participate. So, um... What happened here is one of the staff has a very specific hang up. Now, there's not anything wrong with that. Consenting adults, what you do in your own home, that's cool. It gets weird when you get an entire class of high schoolers to unwittingly act out your little fantasies. What in the entire fuck for charity? This what is the, mm -hmm. what was the fundraising part? I I don't I don't know how the fundraising worked. Like I, I even... mean, I mean, you could you could sell that video online. Oh yes, you definitely could. There are a lot of places where that would be worth a but great deal. You fucking deal. shouldn't. You should not know because there's a lot of places where that will also get you locked away. Um. I can't even imagine there's like one of the kids there like licking the licking somebody else's toes going, how are we making money again? I don't know, man. Just keep licking. Right. It's just, it's, I don't know. More just like, I, and I know the Milgram experiment appealed to authority, all that stuff, but like the kids did it. Man, Mr. Johnson's really into this, huh? Yeah, he's been watching us for like a straight minute. And people have questions about me saying, does it have something to do with Lent? Holy Thursday in Lent, yeah. Jesus washed the feet of the apostles. And yeah. when you go to that mass, the priest picks 12 people and washes their feet in front of everybody. It's a whole thing. So, I, you know, I'm thinking, oh, like, my God, this is some fucking evangel. That's where my brain was going. This is so, so high school kids licking peanut butter off each other's feet for charity. That is an incredibly specific kink. That is like... I think I saw that movie on Cinemax at like 2 a.m. once. That is a super, super, super niche kink there. I don't even... How stupid are these high schoolers? I don't even blame the kids because like... You are... Like literally when you're in high school, you're conditioned into authority. And yes, you have a subset of kids who rebel against that real hard. But... I, <laughs> America, is, fuck yeah. This is very upsetting. Yes, it is. Um, Got more. We, we've got our, okay, here's our mugshot for the week. Also. What? I thought you couldn't even show a jar of peanut butter to a school anymore. Yeah, because of, you know, allergies, right? Yeah. Because allergies have gotten so bad. I thought, like, if you came within 100 feet of a school with a jar of peanut butter, you'd get arrested. I just, I, you know, I don't know. Oh. Apparently, unless it's for kink. Apparently. Um, that's not better. That's not better at all. Uh, let me hang on. I got the wrong one up. I got to. Hold on. I got to fix a thing. Hold on. Um, it's not the right story. Live, everybody. This is the, where the live part comes in. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, here it is. Here's the story. Here it is. So, um, you know that that whole. I mean, of course, it's down this way. That there, there's the boy who cried wolf, right? The whole idea of you keep crying wolf, everybody will come and see. You get people to do shit. That's a parable. That is a a story made up to teach you something. It is not something you actually fucking do and especially so it's something you do with fire arson investigation 20 year old charge with 14 counts of arson after same apartment building had multiple fires in one month burlington man has been okay arrested. the boy who cried wolf was lying that was the whole thing and yes. then when it really happened no one believed him because of all the lying you're supposed to <laughs> yes getting it just everything's wrong everything's wrong here burlington man has been arrested and charged with 14 counts of first degree arson burlington police and fire responded to ethan point apartments on thursday at 7 55 p.m for an apartment fire officials found a small fire in a bathroom had already been extinguished prior to the arrival the fire was determined to be suspicious in nature this was the third suspicious fire at the complex involving the same apartment within the past month jordan hunter 20 years old of burlington was arrested and charged. Hunter was transported to the Helmets County Detention Center and held without bond. There was minor damage to the apartment. No one was injured. The reason it was 14 counts of arson, you're like, we just had 14 fires. That was based on how many people were in the building. See, when you set the building on fire, that is, somebody might die. And they're like, well, yeah. all these, yeah. So they take that kind of serious. Yeah. What the fuck were you doing? Because you're in an apartment and you share things like walls and floors. Yeah. What? what? And if you get that, if that little fire gets out of control. Dead. He's, he's dead. Everybody's screwed. Why the fuck? Again, do you really well, just. Psychosis, I would imagine. <laughs> maybe, maybe he just, he really likes the sound of the fire truck really likes that just really likes fire engines you can just record that <laughs> play it all you want were you trying maybe to hook he really up? likes maybe he really likes the firemen like was he, were you trying to hook up with one of them were you like firemen are often very good looking they're in good shape butterfingers fire again maybe just maybe just volunteer at the fire department. Yeah, just just actually don't volunteer at the fire department. Their job is to put them out, not to start them. I know where you might get confused, the word fire, well, but a lot of firemen have that tendency because they share a fascination for the topic. Your dad, your dad was 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 in the fire just the stopping thing. He was. And this is the same dad who accidentally set my mom's dog's butt on fire trying to get it a tick. So, you know. <laughs> Gonna eat being a fireman doesn't ages. necessarily mean you're responsible with fire. No. And this, this, do you think maybe after the second The dog time, was fine. The dog was fine. Yeah. The dog was fine. The dog was okay. You, you may think maybe after the second time you'd think Maybe I should cut back for a while. Three times in one month. Maybe we should cut back on the fire. Just, just cut back on the fire just a little bit. Just, just, just you don't, don't need a little less fire today. So, um, I'll put this one to you, Tara. It's, it's, it's kind of self-evident. Um, what's, what's the first thing you think of, aside from the obvious, what, what, when you hear the phrase? self-driving car crash <laughs> also weirdly the will smith version of irobot <laughs> it's the, the the basic premise of a self-driving car is it drives itself right well someone decided this was a prime target 
for a carjacking. Man arrested after trying to steal a self-driving taxi in L.A. Buddy. Yep. Man is facing an attempted grand theft auto charge after trying and failing to steal a self-driving taxi in downtown L.A. on Saturday night. Uh, LAPD said in a statement Sunday that Vincent Maurice Jones, 33, got into a fully autonomous Waymo car just after it dropped off a passenger. The suspect got into the driver's seat, but the alleged theft did not go according to plan. Jones attempted to put the vehicle in drive, but could not manipulate the controls. It gets better. A Waymo representative was then able to speak to Jones remotely via the car's online communication system and told him to leave the vehicle. When, oh, buddy. when he did not, the representative called the police. Jones did not follow the instructives, instructions, and the LAPD arrived and arrested him. So, literally, you know there is someone who can see you. Yeah. Telling you to get out of the car. And you're like, no, no, I, where's, where's the fucking clutch on this goddamn thing? The whole time, there's like sirens behind you. It's like, no, no, I can get this. Isn't that hard? Give me a second. Also, wouldn't you assume that a self-driving car was full of fucking cameras and tracking devices? I would. I would. I won't go near a motherfucker. If it's got the level of tech to be self-driving, I assume it's got the level of tech to be a surveillance device. Well, it has a level of tech to be a surveillance device, yes. It does not have the level of tech to actually be self-driving if you look at any of the records about these goddamn things. Yeah. He tried to boost a Johnny Cab. Yes, 93 Maniac. Yes, he did, in fact, try to boost a Johnny Cab. What's a Johnny Cab? Uh, Total Recall. Oh. Yeah. I is the the just you dipshit. And the it's not the part that he tried to do it. It's that he just got stubborn and obstinate about it. There is someone looking at you saying, "Get the fuck out of the car." And he's like, "Shut up." The now the mistake the employee made was not fucking with him enough. <laughs> You need to pretend that you're Kit from Knight Rider, but evil. <laughs> and I'm sure this is this is a wonderful thing. You you just baited the comment section because tons of them are going to go. We had that. He was called he was called Cat. He was the first one built before Kit. They made him first. It was it was he was different. Wait, cars. is that true? Yes, there was an evil Kit. Oh. It was called Cat. It was the prototype for Kit, and he was evil. Please tell me at some point they got in a fight and Kit yelled, give me a break. He did not. He did not. He never... Why? He did what a waste. Not. Car, not cat. Oh, it was car. But okay. you got I thought, it. I thought it was cat. I was okay. Well, fine. Oh. Yeah. You know what? The best part got, about this is. fuck with the guy. Before, there's gonna you be... got to be like, hey, I see you. What are you doing? Ow. 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 That <laughs> hurts. Why are you poking me there? Ow. The best part of the best part is there's gonna be like a thousand comments here and YouTube loves that shit. So uh-huh. Here's a fun fact for you who've been watching the show for a while. Um each week I'm deliberately wrong at some point just to make you comment. <laughs> just to drive up the engagement. It's been working for a decade. I'm actually a men's rights activist. I just pretend to be a feminist to make the men angry in the comment section. Uh, I'm doing my part. We have more car shenanigans this week. This is also a, what was your fucking plan? This is from Laredo, Texas. I, I don't even, what is, I don't even, God damn it. What the fuck, man? The picture just tells the tale. Driver faces charges after crashing into convenience store. Man is facing multiple charges after he allegedly assaulted a convenience store clerk and drove his truck into the business. Since it was reported on Tuesday. According to Liberato Police, the suspect identified as Abigail Velasquez. Sorry. Abigail Velasquez. 
Dominguez. I said that right? I think I said Velasquez. That. Velasquez. Velasquez. Sorry. I get I get tricky on which ones I'm allowed to pronounce and which ones I'm not. Abigail anyway. is a man? Uh apparently, yes. Maybe that's the problem. Um is this a boy named Sue situation? Uh became upset after noticing the beer coolers inside the store were locked. Authorities say uh, Dominguez allegedly punched the clerk's head, got into his Ford F-150 truck, and drove into the store, resulting in thousands of dollars of damages. But wait, it gets better. When police arrived, both Dominguez and a passenger were stuck inside. Police had to break the windows to get them out of the vehicle. I guess it's charged with assault and criminal mischief. The investigation remains ongoing. I'm not sure what you need to investigate there. Um, it's it seems kind of self evident. You've got a, a classical dipshit situation here. Doesn't it seem like it would have been easier just to ask the clerk to open the cooler? Yeah. Hey, I'd like to buy some beer. Can you open the cooler? It would take up less time. It would. You would get your beer. And you wouldn't be in jail, and your car wouldn't be wrecked. Simba, buddy, no. Just, just, Come on. Maybe, I don't know if there's like, that there are blue laws involved or not, but the clerk has no control over this shit. Yeah. This is what, it, once again, retail, they have no say. They have no authority. They have no, no power. They, they basically, anything they want to do has to be go through someone else above them. Even your manager has to be like, I have to see if I have to talk to someone else because I'm not allowed to make decisions. Yeah, so the guy you punched in the head, literally no decision-making power over whether or not you get beer. And it doesn't seem like you needed the beer. It seems like beer was a bad call. Because, yeah. like, you drove, like, five feet and got yourself stuck in the vehicle. Can I suggest weed maybe it would chill you out a little because you maybe. seem to have some anger issues still don't be driving on the weed but yeah maybe maybe you need to you yeah. need to sit to relax because god damn that story is fucked holy shit he even went over somebody oh. a, a truck drove into a uh coffee shop i frequent <laughs> made the news and i was like damn i go there that's a bummer i guess they're gonna be closed for a while drove right through the lobby look, look down there that, that that great uh pipe looking thing that's one of those things that you're that's supposed to stop you from driving through it that's a fucking pylon it's a pylon yeah we need to construct additional those are pylons. concrete well, obviously, those are not, concrete, dude. Not, not entirely concrete because it's bent. Um, it's just so the amount of damage you've done to your car for a yeah. case of beer, for one case of fucking beer. Look what you've done. Your insurance is not covering this. No. Like at all. Well, Jamie from Progressive is going to come to your prison cell and laugh at you. Yes. <sighs> Finally, this week, this is lucky to fucking be alive. This one comes from Hawaii. And it's a tourist, which is already there are some issues with Hawaiian tourists. There are things you're not supposed to do. They tell you not to do them, not to ruin your vacation, but so you don't die. Your ass is lucky not to or have... fuck their shit up, because I yeah. have got... I'm that shitty white person that has gone to Hawaii, mm. and, like, there's a $5,000 fine if you fuck with the turtles. Because they're protected. You don't fuck with the turtles. I mean, there's going to Hawaii, and then there's... Well, there's this... Taurus miraculously survives fall off Hawaiian cliff in rental Jeep. A tourist on Hawaii's big island narrowly escaped death over the weekend after his rental Jeep plunged more than 50 feet from a cliff into the ocean. 
The man who was not named miraculously survived with a few scratches and slight hypothermia. Survivor told firefighters he driven to a cliff near the island's southernmost point, an area that's off limits to rental vehicles because of the terrain and the lack of cell service. Because he wanted to watch the sunrise. Spear fishermen who were also waiting for the sun to rise reportedly witnessed the plunge, saying the vehicle tumbled down amid winds as high as 50 miles per hour, landing on a rock inside the ocean. Jeep had its driver's side pinned, so the man inside had to crawl out the passenger side and swim against strong ocean currents till a rescue helicopter arrived to save him using a tactical rope. You 50 feet and your ass limb. Minor scratches and that and mild hypothermia and your ass. You dumb motherfucker. All On right. an island literally made of volcanoes. Mm -hmm. If they tell you not to go to a spot, it's for a fucking reason. Like, if you believe in like luck, yours is all gone. You you just one sh you spent it all in one shot. You just, you, you, it's like... You also, just, yeah, someone makes a good point. None of the Hawaiian islands are enormous. No, they're not. So there's going to be another spot mm -hmm. where you can see the sunrise, and it will be just as gorgeous and a lot less deadly. This is, this is fucking amazing. And the thing about this is, when this sort of shit happens to an idiot, they take the wrong lesson away. They take like this idea of someone was looking out for me, not you shouldn't have been doing that in the first fucking place, you moron. Yeah. It's not, I probably shouldn't do that again. It's like, I was touched by something special. Well, you are. Right, God's got me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. In fact, he was probably sitting there going, what the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus, come see this. No, literally, <laughs> Jesus, come over here. See this. Jesus, look. Oh. And like, good luck renting a car ever again. Like, oh, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, you've, you've already proven. Let's see. We're going to look at your driving history. And no. There's just a, there's a big red flag on your account. There's just no. It's in like three languages. They all say no. There's a picture here of what you did to the last one. It says no. Oh, Cory Booker, let me repeat that in Spanish. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, at least he only heard himself in the car. I just, just imagine walking away from... I would be sitting there going, am I sure I'm not dead? Like one of those shows where, you know, you die and you pop out of your yeah, body you and you look... It. I'd be sitting there for like for like a solid half hour, I'd be convinced I was dead, and be like, yeah. "No, really, you can see me. You can see Paramedic? me. Paramedic. Oh God, you you're a medium. <laughs> <laughs> you're Whoopi fucking Goldberg. Holy shit! Oh God damn it! Am I on a CBS show <laughs> with a paramedic medium? Was I that bad a person? Touched by a damn good it. shit. Um, <laughs> the fucking hell. Yeah, the, the first thing we've learned this week is that um, signs that tell you no are there for a good reason. Okay? It's not just to be a buzzkill. No, they're, they're there because, well, because of people like you. So you are why the yeah. sign. Um. We've learned that if you do $10,000 worth of damage to your truck for a $20 case of beer, you're not good at math. No. Oh. We've learned that the essence of the self-driving car is no driver. Trying to defy that, kind of pissing in the wind there, buddy. I, I... Makes the machines angry. <laughs> You know, if I'd been on the other end of that thing, I would have whipped my phone out, gone to YouTube, and 
Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. That's what I'm saying. Dun, 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 dun. Definitely needed to fuck with that guy a lot more. <laughs> needed to fuck with that guy. I need your claws, your boots, and your motorcycle. Um, we've learned that after you've set the same fi- apartment on fire three times, somebody's going to catch on. I'm not saying... Maybe take up camping. Take up, yeah, you could, they, you could burn all the shit. Well, no, no you can't burn all the shit you want, but you could burn, you get a fi- hole to but make fire. But you're supposed to make a fire. Right, you're allowed to get a little, little hole, you can put a fire in it, everybody, no one has a problem with that at all. No, as long as you put it out properly. We've learned there's a teacher in the Deer Creek School District with a very fucking specific fetish. And finally, we've learned you can destroy the security apparatus of the largest military on the entire fucking planet simply by engaging someone's penis. With just the concept just of the a concept. vagina. Just not even a real one. Not even an actual vagina. Just the concept a theoretical of a set vagina. Of, a theoretical genitalia, yes. Can topple fucking nations. And you motherfuckers are going to tell me men are the stronger sex? I think so. (sighs) Any Greeks ever go to war because one guy was really hot? Probably. Yeah, yeah, I disagree, yes. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) 